The St. Lucia boa constrictor, also known locally as the Tetchia, is a non-poisonous snake commonly found in some of the drier areas along the central west and east coast of St. Lucia. A recent discovery in the community of Ancillary unearthed a nest of mating reptiles. Senior Wildlife Conservation Officer in the Forestry Division, Pius Haynes, urges the public to call the Forestry Division if they encounter a boa constrictor near their property. There were a number of boas sighted in the quarry area in Ancillary. Um, my advice to persons, whenever you see um, those boas around, because you will see them more than um, usual now. All you have to do is just call the forestry division um, and then we will come in and take the boas and relocate them. Okay, so if you, might, if you may find a boa around your area, around your home, in your garden, um, within the vicinity, too close, to, uh, maybe if you feel that it might be too close for comfort, just call forestry division and we will come to you and then just capture and relocate the species because by law the boa is protected okay so it's a protected species and we are not allowed to um to to kill the boa Hayden says the sighting of the reptile which is a protected species is not uncommon as breeding season is in full swing the saint lucia boa is a an endemic subspecies to saint lucia now it is it is not uncommon that persons, you know, see the boa around now, you know, in different areas. Because actually now is the time that they, they breed. So you will find a number of boas. In fact, you, you'll find them in like a mat. We call them a cabal. You, you'll find them in a mat mating. So you might find sometimes four, five, six, even more males onto a female. The females are typically bigger. So persons will be seeing boas around the area um, and you'll see many of them specifically because it is the um, mating period for them. Fear is usually struck in the heart of persons upon hearing the hissing sound of the boa. However, Haynes affirms the creature is harmless. When a boa feels threatened, it will hiss. So it will produce this hissing sound and persons are typically afraid of that. But the boa is not venomous and it will not um, produce it doesn't produce any, any venom. Persons have the misconception that when a boa bites you, that it produces a gad. Okay, like it produces a sore on your foot or on your limb or whatever, and it does not kill at all. This is a misconception, this is a myth. Uh, what we tell persons is that the boa's mouth, due to the fact that it, you know, it eats rats and so on, its mouth is usually contaminated with bacteria and so on. So it might be possible that if a boa bites you, then you know you have to seek medical attention just for them to sanitize a wound and and administer antibiotics for you but it doesn't mean that the um the boa is is venomous nor that it would bite and produce a guard that would not heal at all no this is a misconception last year a popular tour operator josiah joe knows castang was bitten by the venomous saint lucia fidilus which is also native to the island he survived after receiving timely anti-venom treatment at victoria hospital the incident sparked widespread negative public perception of the snake and a raft of inaccurate media reports about the endemic species on St. Lucia. The senior wildlife conservation officer says through education, individuals can learn which snakes pose an immediate threat to life. Ophidiophobia is the specific term used to describe a phobia of fear of snakes. According to the Caribbean Doctors Association, between November 2007 and March 2018, there were 104 reported snake bites in St. Lucia, resulting in three fatalities, less than 3%. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.